Now we're going to take a look at how coaches maintain and edit rosters. So I'm going to log in. Again, I am the Allen County Scottsville coach. I have various jobs. Now, when I'm logging in here, since I am the, uh, the varsity JV and freshman football head coach, I can pick either three of those roles, but I would just pick varsity if I'm going to work on the rosters because you will have access, as long as all three are listed, you will have access to edit all three of those levels of the rosters. Or if I'm having to be working on baseball, then I would click on baseball. But for this example, I'm going to pick Allen County Scottsville varsity uh, football head coach. I'm going to hit change role. Now we're going to go to, uh, let's look at view team rosters first, just as a reminder. This is just a, a nice clean view. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit Allen County Scottsville's football since that's the school I'm looking at. But you can look at any school's roster right there. It's a nice, clean PDF. It's kind of the press or media view, as we call it. List all the coaches. That's why it's very important to have all the coaches uh, listed in the system. So if you see an assistant coach that's not listed, be sure and contact your athletic director. Um, but anyway, that's your uh, that's that's a nice, clean printed, printed roster there. I'm gonna hit the back button. Now how do I actually, and then you can switch between levels uh, over here, JV, freshman, and postseason. So how do I actually edit the roster? Well, let's get into that. That's, that is going to be done under maintain specific team rosters. So let's click on that. Now you're going to see a grid of all the, all the sports and any sports that you're a coach of that, and you have rights and your athletic director allows you to edit rosters, you're going to see it as, as in green. Uh, if you remember, I logged in as a football coach. So just a brief uh, explanation here. You see that I have 45 students on the varsity football roster. Right now I only have six JV and two freshmen. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now, you can see if it's red, you're not authorized. And if you click on this and you see this light pink, uh, pinkish color, reddish pink color, that means the AD has not authorized coaches to edit the roster. So you would need to contact your athletic director, and they may not allow you to edit rosters. Sometimes ADs do it all themselves. But that is up to each uh, particular school and the coaches and the athletic directors at those schools. So let's go ahead. We are coaches that can edit rosters. I'm going to look at the football roster. Okay, we're looking at a grid here. Um, the there's basically as of as of the publication of this video, there's five columns. The first, the left most, the left most uh, table or grid is the students' names, uh, their height, weight, and class. Eventually, we'll have their physical and, and uh, physical date, etc., on there as well. Uh, and then your other columns are varsity, JV, freshman, and postseason rosters, just listed right down the page. Uh, postseason we've added for 2014-15 we were having this issue where where 80s and coaches were going in at the end of regular season and throwing all their freshmen and JV onto the varsity roster to make them quote unquote eligible but we've tried to clarify over the last little bit that that as long as a student is on one of those three levels during regular season when they go into postseason they are eligible for postseason and what the postseason roster is going to do it allows you to go through there and just pick and choose who you want to be your 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 final actual postseason team for your tournaments there. So just a little FYI there. Um, this From this screen here, if you click on any of the students' names that are already on the roster, it allows you to edit some basic information. So Rob Anderson, for instance, is a freshman. Let's click on him. Uh, since he's not on the varsity, I don't see that I can, I'm not able to uh, enter his varsity uh, numbers, obviously. He's just on the JV and the freshman, but I can go in and I can put his, his jersey numbers in, an offensive lineman, perhaps defensive lineman, uh, his freshman jersey, maybe he's a little different. I'm just giving you some examples here, but it's very easy to edit. We hit save changes and notice it automatically puts them in the columns there. Nothing in varsity because he doesn't play varsity, but he's on JV and freshman. So let's say he made the varsity team. How would I sign Rob Anderson to be the varsity to be on the varsity team? Well, it's, as you probably figure, there's only two buttons. You got to assign unassigned players, and you got return to team list. So we're going to assign Rob Anderson. So let's click on that. Now this is going to bring up the entire school list. There's a few changes you can save, you can cancel, and you can add a new athlete. Never add a new athlete unless you're 100% certain that the student is not on this list. And again, this is the entire student body that is currently loaded in that plays athletics. And there's a possibility that it's a new student that's not on this list. But we were talking about Rob Anderson and adding him to the varsity level. All we have to do is find Rob Anderson. And this list is sortable. If you want to get all the gender together, you can do so, female and male, because, it, again, it is every student in the school that plays athletics. 
and we're going to just sort it back by last name because I think last name is pretty easy. We're, all we have to do is put a little checkbox next to Varsity. We hit Save Changes. And we have now assigned Rob Anderson to Varsity. Now when we click on that line, I can add my Varsity information as well. Hit Save Changes. We can go ahead and put a weight in there if we want as well. He's a little fella. But anyway, that's how you would assign or unassign an existing player that's on there right now. Now, let's say that we want to assign someone who's not on the team. Okay, we're going to hit Assign, Unassign Player. Now, we're going to scour this list and make sure that the student that we're looking for is on it. Well, I happen to see Cody Brown. He's a senior. He's one that made the team. All i got to have to do is put a checkbox next to, to whatever level, varsity. Maybe he's on varsity and JV. And I hit uh, Save Changes. And now Cody Brown is now assigned to the roster. And you can go in and edit his information if you need to. Now, you're never actually deleting a student. You're only assigning and unassigning existing students from your roster. So only the athletic director can delete. And it shouldn't be the coach's interest to, to delete a, a, play, a, a student from the school anyway. That would only be done in transfer situations. Or uh, so, so let's go ahead and say we want to remove Cody's. It's just simple. It's a reverse procedure. I'm going to click on Cody's. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to hit assign, unassign players. I'm going to go to Cody Brown, and I'm going to unselect. I'm going to deselect him. I'm going to hit Save Changes, and now you notice Cody Brown is gone. Um, now let's say we are looking for a student who is not on the list at all. He's not already on the roster, obviously. We go to Assign Unassign, and we're looking for a George Catron. And we see a Rob Catron. We don't see any George. You have to, again, make 100% certain it is that that person is not on there. If, if you do not see the athlete on there, then all you have to do is hit Add New Athlete. And this is going to add one to the entire school list, so be very careful here. Make sure the name and everything is correct. So we said it was George Catron. All the fields in red are required. Male. He is a... Freshman, so my first year promotion from eighth grade is 2014, and height is required. He's 5'11 and a half. We'll go ahead and put his weight in. He's a pretty good sized fella, 273. Now, if you know the physical exam date, you go ahead and you set it here. It's just a little date widget. Maybe he had a physical exam this year. Uh, some school districts have a concussion course that they want their students to watch. If you're not one of those school districts, then you just obviously hit none. Again, none of this is required at the publication of this uh, video, but some schools really want all this stuff in one uh, spot so you can always have access to it. Insurance provider and policy number as well, if you know that. But let's go ahead and hit Add. Now that put George Catron on the list. I'm going to scroll down here, and there he is, but he's not been assigned to any roster yet, so let's go ahead and put him on the freshman team. We hit Save Changes, and now we're going to see a George Catron along with Rob Catron there, and he's on the freshman, and we can go ahead and put in his jersey and etc. whatever we want to do to operate on him. Um, now, it is very simple it looks kind of complicated, but it's very simple to go in and assign and unassign the entire team at one time. So you could hit assign and unassign players. Let's say we want to flesh out our JV team. I don't have to go in here and just do one at a time. Let's say that we want to put, we know some players are going to be playing JV. We can go through here and add them all at one time. And uh, let's just say we, we know the particular ones. I'm skimming through it really quick. And of course, just picking some that are already in existence, but even if there's some students that we know, like we know that uh, Stephen Papa, pa I picked a hard name to say there, but the Papa Stefanow, let's say he is on the freshman team, so I can assign and unassign as many as I want. And when I hit Save Changes, you're going to see a lot of different boxes open up now in the JV column because I added a lot of JV players. And then, of course, I can go in there and add their information. So I think it's a pretty simple system there and uh, that, that, that people will like to use. If you have any questions, be sure and talk to your athletic director or myself uh, here at the office. Thanks a lot.